Hey guys, Cameron here from Amazon Shark. Uh, a lot of people know that we sell reviews at amzshark.com slash reviews. Uh, and we get a lot of questions as a result of that uh, from people talking about super URLs and mega URLs. And I want to make a quick video just to address those questions. Um, super URLs, mega URLs, depending on who is using the term, what they're talking about might change a little bit. But the general theme is using a uh, product listing URL. Uh, which has a search query embedded in it in order to kind of fool Amazon and, and improve your search ranking for that term. Um, so in this video, just two minutes long, I just want to, one, address how you make them yourself. You don't need a tool. You don't need to pay anybody for the privilege. Um, two, we do use them for all of our own customers, uh, mostly because people ask for them. But two, why, why you might want to be a little bit skeptical that they work. And three, what I recommend we everybody do instead. Um, so here, one, how to, how to make them yourself. Starting at Amazon.com, um, let's say you sell an iPhone 6 case and you want to rank for iPhone 6 case, you would just type in your search query into the search bar and hit enter. So we are on page three, so we're going to naturally just navigate like a user would to page three and find our own listing. So this is it for example, it's not really us, but just as an example. Now to make your super URL, you're almost done. Just right click and press copy link location. This is what we just copied and you can see here's your listing URL. Here is a couple URL parameters including the refer, ref refer equals SR search result, um, text encoding data and information, query ID, this is where a lot of people try to game to trick Amazon, SR, search result, 843, keywords, iPhone 6 case. That's how you make it. You just made your own super URL. You didn't have to pay anybody, and now you're done. Um, some people might generate a whole bunch of these and then cycle through them and send people different links. Um, you know, you might want to make a couple of these in iPhone 6 case, best iPhone 6 case, iPhone 6 case for school, I don't know, whatever. Um, but that's basically the short of it. Now, moving on to why I'm a little bit skeptical about super URLs. Basically, if you know much about how servers and websites work, um, you know that it's it would be completely trivial for the very smart people over at Amazon to determine that you were trying to game the system. You know, when a hundred sales, which all checked out with 99% off coupon codes, all go through a link with a query ID which was generated for an IP address, which was completely separate from all of those buyers. Um, it's just really no reason it should work. You know, Amazon is some of the brightest tech minds in the world, and this is honestly, it's very much child's play. So I'm skeptical. We do do it ourselves, mostly because people ask for it, um, and everything seems to work. You know, they, they're definitely not penalizing, and so it might help, so you may as well try. But, la you know, under the, the last thing I want to talk about, what I recommend people do instead is just have people search your, your keyword. Just if you're going to do a giveaway and you're going to give away, you know, 50 units, just um, tell them the keyword to type in and tell them, hey, we're on page three. You know, we're between page one and three. Just show them a picture and your, your listing title and tell them to search it you know, search the keyword and keep going until they find it and until they find it themselves. Um, you know, if people who are getting something for free aren't willing to put in that tiny bit of effort, those might not be people you want reviewing your product in the first place. So those are just my thoughts. Um, thank you very much for listening and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.